Phoenix Youth Programs is uh, an organization that offers a continuum of supports and services for specifically at-risk and homeless youth as young as the ages of 12 and up to the uh, high end age of 24. Our programs cover a really broad range from a prevention program and there are community educators who work within our schools uh, and do a lot of skill building exercises specifically with kids but also with all of the professionals and uh, parents uh, that are involved in their lives. And we also have clinical therapists that are part of that uh, prevention team. Then we get into our walk-in center uh, which is uh, a center which kids can come when they're first in need we do a lot of uh, assessment there and identify exactly what they're in need of. We have three residential programs, and those residential programs range from a 20-bed emergency shelter to a 10-bed facility, which is uh, long-term, uh, designed to house kids uh, over the long haul. And then a more independent living program, uh, simply referred to as our supervised apartment program. We have a learning and employment center, which does uh, life skill and pre-employment training and will now do employment placement. Then we have a follow-up or aftercare program that stays in touch with our youth uh, over the long haul uh, and uh, do simple things but important things like recognizing birthdays uh, right through to crisis intervention and staying with our kids as they make the full transition uh, to independence. Uh, across all of our programs we offer uh, health supports uh, and health services and so do assessments both on physical and mental health and provide whatever supports and intervention that we need to, as well as a parenting support program that works with our uh, young people who in turn have kids of their own. My name is Carol Ann Little. I'm the executive assistant here at Phoenix Youth Programs. Uh, my name is Heather Farthing, and I've been with Phoenix Youth Programs for nearly five years. In my current capacity is the coordinator of the Phoenix Center for Youth, which is a walk-in service for at-risk and homeless youth. My name is uh, Reshmu George. I'm the volunteer and student placement coordinator for Phoenix Youth Programs. Um, I also foresee the uh, hiring procedures and uh, uh, departure process for all employees within the organization. My name is Fiona McAdam. I am the coordinator of the community education program at Phoenix Youth Programs as well as uh, being the intake person for the Phoenix Prevention Program. We're able to laugh together, we're able to share in the good things, the bad things, and support one another. It's a very supportive environment. It is so warm, very friendly, everybody supports you, and what you do is important to everyone, and uh, they make you feel very comfortable and appreciate what you do. We're uh, are an organization that really prides itself on being a great place to work, on being an upbeat place to work with great energy. We're a place of great humor, which is important uh, considering the nature of our work. There's a culture where it's much more about uh, hope and possibility as opposed to being about sort of pathology and despair, which is something that I've, I've experienced in other agencies. I've always loved my work, my direct work with youth, but often it, it seemed that, that there was a culture of despair. And, um, and here there's an openness to possibility, to new ideas, to innovation, to, um, and, and I've always felt that I have a voice. Well, one of the big challenges, like many organizations right across Canada, are to find uh, staff who have the appropriate life experience, the appropriate educational experience, uh, and uh, the appropriate work experience. That's a big, big challenge, and increasingly, for our sector. When it comes to the issue of retention, our staff often get recruited out uh, by other organizations, um, many of whom are... Um, uh, tied to government and so are able to uh, pay salaries that are beyond what we're able to pay and that's a, a very significant issue for us. Because we're a large organization we're expressing um, not feeling really connected at times with other programs so we struck a committee to uh, engage the staff with one another and to increase morale. And the work of the staff engagement committee is to make sure that our staff right across the organization feel like they have a very active voice in the future and the health of the organization. Uh, so allow them to uh, have real influence on uh, how things get determined 
here from policy to where our energy go to what kind of activities. Uh, and the staff engagement committee is one of the ways in which we uh, try to give that assurance. Um, we focus on job satisfaction, we focus on staff recognition, uh, years of employment, we focus on professional development opportunities, um, we focus on engaging staff in fun activities as well outside of the regular day-to-day -day work. Um, so that's a lot of, of what we do. Staff engagement has been very good at keeping the dots connected and keeping the lines of communication open. So it makes us all much more effective in what we do and um, feel very much more like we're part of a family. I think the word uh, to best describe uh, Phoenix is hopeful. Transforming. Inspiring. Possibility. A family. It, it is an amazing thing when we have the privilege of involving ourselves in the lives of others and uh, we see the hope uh, that that creates for them and we feel the hope ourselves. I would tell you uh, as a confession that I've learned much over the years of understanding that as part of that process the high value that needs to be put on uh, your employees and appreciating them and allowing them to have influence and, and to have say and what uh, emerges from that is an energy that lends itself best to uh, uh, being an innovator, to uh, feeling like you can do creative things and uh, feeling like together there's nothing that you can't conquer.